Hi, my name is Greg from TP Photography, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of my new lenses, the Sony 85mm f1.4 FE lens for Sony E-mount cameras. So I've used this for a few weddings now. I've used it uh, on the a7R2, the a7S, and the a7 Mark II. Uh, works really well on both. Uh, the reason I got this lens is I had the 90mm macro, which is a good focal length, lovely lens, lovely portrait lens. Uh, but what I'd always missed uh, a little bit was an 85mm lens. Uh, so when my dealer rang me up uh, at Castle Cameras and said, we've got this 85mm uh, f1.4 lens, Greg, uh, then I had to go in and try it out. Uh, and once I tried it out, I realised just how nice it was. Now, as you can see, it's, it's a fairly big lens. Uh, a lot of people say the mirrorless system is great because it's nice and small. Uh, the bodies are still nice and small, but obviously if you've got a full frame sensor, and you want an 85 1.4 lens, then it's always going to be a reasonable size. So if you look at all the other 85 1.4s out there, then this is sort of in, in, in keeping with those sort of sizes, really. In fact, if you look at uh, some of the other 85mm lenses, particularly from, from Zeiss and the 85 1.4 Otus and 85 1.4 Milvus, they're significantly larger than this lens. So, you know, you've got autofocus with this lens, uh, you've got eye focus uh, for the bodies that support it, and that's something that I was really interested in using for weddings. Uh, I want to get those sh shallow depth of field headshots uh, and really nail the focus. Uh, now, a lot of the time, 2.8 is great, uh, you know, and you know, I wasn't 100% sure whether the 1.4 would be worth it. But having tried it and seen the bokeh, uh, you know, the out of focus highlights and things like that, uh, I took a couple of portraits of my photographer friend Tim at the weekend. Uh, you know, some of the bridesmaids, some of the brides, some of the groom, things like that. Uh, and some we even got some lights behind us. Uh, and you can see the circular highlights now. I'll stick that in the video later so you can see what it looks like. Uh, but it really does look really, really beautiful. Uh, you know, you've got that shallow depth of field. So if you want a portrait lens and you want a really shallow depth of field, then this 85 1.4 Sony G Master uh, is a great lens to choose. So G Master, you know, it's a bit like me, Greg. Uh, so it's, it's sort of almost designed for me, really. Uh, sharp. Uh, you know, it's, it's not the fastest focusing lens, it's faster than the macro, uh, but it's not as fast as, uh, you know, some of the other lenses. Uh, but, you know, it's not slow either. It's faster than the Canon 85 1.2, for example. Uh, I used to have an 85 1.2 L, and I'd say this lens uh, definitely focuses a lot faster than that. Uh, it's a lot sharper wide open too, uh, a lot less chromatic aberration. In fact, there's hardly any that I've seen in the shot so far. Uh, so, you know, even though with the pro lens profiles that can correct a lot of it, uh, I think this is a more usable lens than the Canon 85 uh, 1.2L is. Now, I'm hoping to do a shootout soon uh, with a friend who's got the 85 1.2L, and I'll be putting some uh, comparisons in a new video that I'll be making uh, where I compare the 85L with the uh, 85 1.4 FE. Now, great lens. So if you're looking to buy a p the ultimate portrait lens, I think for Sony, then this is probably the, your best option uh, right now, uh, you know, there's the Zeiss Batis 85 1.8, which you know I was quite keen on it for a while, uh, but it simply hasn't been in stock anywhere. Uh, and when my dealer at Castle Camera said, you know, we've got this in stock, then for me that was what really made me uh, sort of choose it. You know, because it's no good Zeiss having this lens if you can't actually get hold of it. Uh, whereas this actually seems to be in stock, uh, which is great. You know, I think all the comparisons I've seen online seem to indicate this is a, a better lens, you know, it's, it's more expensive, it's heavier, uh, you know, so there is some trade-offs there in terms of, of weight, but, you know, I think this is going to be a real winner, uh, and the uses I've, I've seen it so far, uh, really good. I'm not taking any of cats yet, I've taken some of my children, as I say, taken some of, uh, lots of portraits with it, uh, you know, it's, it's quite fast to focus, uh, it's not super fast, as I said, but, you know, it's fast enough, I think, you know, certainly for, for portraits, weddings, uh, events, then you know you're not going to be uh, limited by the autofocus speed. Uh, you might find that if you're shooting uh, sports where you need to grab the focus as fast as possible, then this might not be the lens for you. Uh, you might want to look at the 2470 uh, 2.8 uh, G Master lens that's coming out uh, or is out now. Uh, that's something that I'm looking at getting in the near future. Uh, but obviously, it's a 2.8 versus a uh, 1.8 or uh, sorry, a 1.4. You know, and then there's the 7200 2.8, which is probably going to be an amazing lens as well. Uh, a little bit long for, for what I use for 90% uh, of the time. Uh, but, you know, in short, uh, 
this is a great lens, you know, I've used it pretty much with the automatic aperture so I can control it on the body, but you do have a little uh, ring here you can rotate, uh, you can turn the clicks on or off, uh, depending on how you want to do, use it. But I, I tend to stick it in automatic uh, and then just control it via the body because that's the easiest way for me to do it. Uh, so in short, you know, my experience so far has been very positive. Uh, the, the rendering of it's really nice. The sharpness is really good. Focus speed's decent. Uh, image quality is brilliant. I've shot it into uh, backlighting uh, a, a couple of weddings. And I know for a fact that some lenses would uh, lose a lot of contrast there, uh, but this handles it really well. So, you know, although you are paying a lot of money for this lens, you know, it is very good. So if you're looking for the ultimate portrait lens in any system, I think, you know, this is probably uh, one of the best options you can find. Uh, you know, it certainly outperforms my Nikon 85 1.8G lens, uh, which always gets really good reviews. A uh, little bit less chromatic aberration, a uh, little bit sharper. Uh, the bokeh is a lot nicer. Uh, and, but again, what, like, like I say, what I'm going to do is going to make another video where I'm comparing the 85L, the 85G uh, and the 85G Master. Uh, so if you want to look forward to that, then drop me some comments, uh, see if there's any other lenses you want me to test in there at the same time. Uh, if not, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Many thanks. Bye.